somebody and where academic excellence is our ultimate goal. What led to key schools' academic achievement and the strategies that we use? Um, we do have a rotating daily schedule. We noticed in our data that we had success and proficiency in higher in reading language arts, ELA, than in math and science. So we had to come up with a way to make sure that we have a balance um, between the two so we can get our bang for our book. On Monday and Wednesdays, the morning block is strictly for reading and language arts instruction. Mondays is whole group. And on Wednesdays, we have differentiated center rotation small group. And on Tuesday and Thursdays, our morning block is strictly for math and science. And instruction on Tuesday is whole group. And on Thursdays, we have center small group rotation. Also, we have fit cross grade level team planning time. And it consists of grade level team meetings. There are fit cross grade level team meetings for grades three through five, which includes a teacher from grades K through two to review data and discuss strategies and assessments outcomes bi-weekly. I'm Millicent Stevenson, the fourth grade teacher at Key Elementary. I've been here for six years. When I started here, Key Elementary was a D school. For the last four years, we have been a B school, and we're now at an A, so we have nothing to do but maintain. It makes me feel good because we grow from a B average to an A average. I think our success is based on student accountability. I think students are aware of where they are at all times with their testing scores. They know what their goals are, so they know what they're working towards. It's not like they're shooting in the dark. They know that, okay, I made this on this test. By the next test, I need to show this much growth. So that in the end, they know where they need to be when they're on state tests. Also, we have detailed, explicit lesson plans. Lesson plans must be written in a detailed, an explicit manner and submit it along with all attachments, homework, assessments, independent practice, small groups, and activities. Plans are reviewed and feedback is given weekly. And then we sit down to analyze with teachers and give them feedback to see if we need to adjust instruction based on data. Also, we have weekly assessments and data analysis. Common weekly assessments are created and administered bi-weekly for our teachers and for our students. The best thing I like about Key is teachers because they learn while the students learn and also they are kind and nice. And also the, the, the principal because she helps everyone who needs help. I like my teachers because they help, help me try toward my goal. Students are performing at a high academic level at Key Elementary because they're invested in their education as well as the teachers are invested in their education. We're also holding them to a higher standard. They're able to perform and do everything that is asked of them and they should be able to perform nationally as well as statewide. Data-driven instruction and decision making also led to our improvement. After each assessment, the data is analyzed and deficit objectives are extracted. Deficit objectives are then incorporated into upcoming weekly lesson plans so that we can reteach and retest for the next assessment. We also use raw data than norm data for decision making purposes and for instruction. Um, what I love about support as far as our school is that teachers are allowed to share resources across grade level because sometimes something that may work for you in a lower grade I may need it for a TST student or something and I also like the fact that we do in area two have um, content sessions where we're able to share different ideas with people that's at a different school so they may have performed higher on the standard than my class, and I'm able to say, well, hey, what did you do to get your kids to score high? Steps we use to sustain the success at Key Elementary School, we first focus on growth. We focus on all students moving from pre-K all the way to fifth grade. Even though students are just third, fourth, and fifth grade or test areas, every student count with growth. So we make sure that all students know and all teachers know that it takes everybody to make a team and to make a dream to be successful. Okay, one thing we're doing here at Key Elementary with the students and with the teachers is an accountability. The students know where they're performing. They know what is expected of them. They also, with every assessment that they take, they get feedback. They're able to tell you what they made, what areas they were weak in, and their strong areas. So we hold them accountable just like we're held accountable. We analyze, continue to analyze data. We have individualized plans, instruction plans for our students, for each student in the building. 
as well as direct and differentiated instruction in small groups for our students. Okay, the support we're receiving from our school and the district administration is that we are have an open door policy with our administrator. We also receive support from the district as well as the state of Mississippi. We have been released because of our success from using a literacy coach, which came in and gave us constructive criticism. They came in and taught lessons with us to help us improve areas that we struggled in as well as with our students. I am very proud of the success of our teachers and students. So when you rise to the top, you have to sustain at the top. So I am so glad to be the instructional leader at Key Elementary School. I don't take any credit for what teachers and students do each and every day because as teachers are make, making it happen at Key Elementary School, they take pride in what they do every day. For us to continue to stay successful, I think we don't need to become relaxed. I think we need to keep pushing, keep moving, and keep growing and stay focused on the goal because we know that we got our A from growth. So we're all about growing. We have great parent support. We need our parents to continue to support us. We need our students to continue to do their academic best, whatever their academic best is. And for the teachers to continue to love what we do and give our best and continue to grow. So our parent involvement is very, very strong at Key Elementary School. When the students know you got the parent and the, uh, the school on as one team, you will have success. So I have the best parents, not only in Jackson Public Schools, but in the United States. So I'm so proud of our parent involvement that we have at Key Elementary School. I plan to study and work hard to accomplish my goals. I plan to keep studying hard and do my best. I am the most proudest person in America when we receive the A. So we're improving every day. I have the most outstanding staff and teachers and students, and we're going to stay at an A.